Howdy, it's Ms. Kosh. I want to work a couple of more advanced problems to deal with arc length in the area of a sector. Um, so this first one, they tell us a sector has an arc length of 15 centimeters and an area of 45 centimeters squared. So you could kind of think of it as this length right here is 15 and then the, the entire area is um, 45 that centimeters, this is centimeters squared. Okay, I don't know that that picture helps us, but that's kind of what we're looking at. We do know um, our formulas when theta is in terms of radians, and those formulas are significantly easier to work with. And the, the arc length formula is theta r. So they tell us the arc length is 15, so we know that theta r is equal to 15. We also know that the area of formula is 1 half theta r squared, and then we know that that is equal to 45. Okay, so... We have two equations with two variables, two things that we don't know. We don't know r, we don't know theta, and so we have a system. So the easiest way to think about this, well, first of all, I don't really feel like dealing with that fraction. So I could say this, and just multiply both sides by 2, and then, and then we're looking at that scenario. What I notice is that I've got a theta r that are multiplying together, and a theta r times another r. So this, I could rewrite this as theta r times r is equal to 90. This is not the only way to do this problem, but it sure makes things easier for us. So now I can take this theta r and plug it in right here. I'm substituting that in, and I can say that 15r is equal to 90, and therefore when I divide, I know that r is equal to 6. Okay, so now all I need to do is to go back into one of my other, in my original equations, plug that in and solve for theta. So this one is easier. Theta r is equal to 15. We just said that r was equal to 6. 15 divided by 6. I can reduce that fraction. 3 goes in here. 5, 3 goes in there too. And these are my units. Okay, this, the, ra uh, the radius would be in terms of centimeters. And the angle is in terms of radians. Fantastic. Okay. Once again, there's other ways that you could perhaps do this, but I think that's the easiest. Um, the other, the next problem tells us a cone has a diameter of 10 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters. And they want us to find r and theta in the corresponding net. So basically, what we have here, this is a, a this flat sector is the net of our cone. So hopefully we can see this in the video. But if I were to put these sides together, do you see how I now have a cone? Okay, maybe I should have made that a bigger angle. But the idea is that it's standing up. Here is the height of the cone from, well, the height goes to my finger to the desk. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, you can see it at this angle. I'm looking at my, that's the height of the cone. Here's the diameter of the cone. And so what we, what we really need to do is draw a picture so we can understand what's happening. Um, so this is the radius of the sector, but notice in the cone, it's what we call the slant height. Can you see that? Okay, try this at, at home. I just took a circle and I cut a sector out of it. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make that a bigger angle as we as we film. Look at this. Um, I'm not even really concerned. I just want to make it so that you can see a little more clearly. Okay. So now, do you see this cone that we're forming here? Um, in that cone, this the radius of the sector became the slant height. Do you see how those two kind of come together? It becomes the slant height of the cone. Okay. So let's let's sketch those two things. Um, art is not my strong so suit, but okay. So I've got. So let's label. This is the radius right here. The angle that we're going to care about becomes this one right here. This is the theta that we're looking for. And then when I draw a cone or attempt to, okay, something like this. Here is the height of the cone. Here's the radius of the cone. There's R, here's H, and this is the slant height. Okay, so what we know is that the slant height, so the slant height of the cone is going to be equal to the radius of the sector. And what we know is that, um, well, you know what, we should call this R1 and call this R2. 
Okay, because I have our, I don't, I don't want to have those show up. The height right here, uh, well, I see a right triangle. Okay, so we know that the slant height of the cone is equal to the radius of the sector, and then we know that the, that the, the arc length here is equal to the circumference down here. So look again with my, my nice little, this is the, so you can see it, this is that arc length along here, and then when I make this become a cone, then that is the, the circumference of the base. Can you see that this is now a 3D object? Okay, anyway, I'm doing the best I can to help you out. Um, so the arc length here, the arc length of the, of the sector will be equal to the circumference of the cone. Okay, so in our particular scenario, what have they told us? In our particular scenario, they have told us that the diameter of the cone is 10, which means that its radius right here is equal to 5. And then they tell us that the height of the cone is 12. And I did this on purpose. I don't know if the numbers are going to be great, but at least we get a nice number here um, because this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. And I did that on purpose. Um, which means if this is 13, that means over here, this is equal to 13. Okay. So now circumference is equal, the circumference right here, circumference is equal to 2 pi r, which our r was 5. So 5 times 2 is 10. So this has a circumference of 10 pi. Which means, so since this is 10 pi, that means that the arc length is 10 pi. And so now I can figure out this theta by saying, well, the arc length, and yes, slant height, arc length have the same variable. That's why I'm trying to write words out so that you can kind of see what's what. Here's the arc length is equal to theta r. And yeah, that's confusing. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, arc length is equal to theta times r when theta is in terms of radians, which will make this problem easier. We just said that the arc length was 10 pi. We don't know theta, but we do know that this radius matched the slant height of the cone, and so and that was 13, and so now theta is equal to 10 pi over 13. And that's not something I know from the unit circle, but to be honest with you, I don't know that I it matters, that, it, that I care. So it's, um, its radius is equal to, the radius of the corresponding net is equal to 13, did I have units? Yes, centimeters, okay, so 13 centimeters. And its, um, its angle is that many radians. All right, go practice.